What is up, everyone? It is the Mad King Paradox Test, bringing you a discussion I've never really talked about, really, but I've always wanted to. Seeing as how I'm a big fan of the show, the show Ruby from Rooster Teeth, I never really talked about it. I've talked about other shows I've liked, like Pokemon, One Piece, Naruto, Bleach, you know, off and on, but I've never really talked about other shows I like, like Ruby, Avatar series, Ed and Eddie, you know, I've never really talked about any of them I really liked outside of anime, and Ruby's kind of anime style-ish, so I guess it flows well, but there was something that I've been looking into that I wanted to give my two cents about, and that's pretty much what is Jean's semblance? Now, for those of you who don't know or haven't seen Ruby, pretty much it's about I want to not I don't want to say the four main characters, but the eight main characters who pretty much go to this very prestigious school in order to learn how to be professional hunters and huntresses in order to f save the world from the creatures of Grimm, and from other people trying to do things that aren't exactly very pleasant. So, with our eight main characters, you know, they have two teams of four, and they're going around training, and we're into the third, the third season is done with, and we're kind of in this transitional period between the third and fourth season, and they're doing this very chibi short type of thing for a buffer, which is actually very good. I didn't, first time I saw it, I was just like, this is just some cutesy stuff. I mean, there's not going to be anything to it. Then I watched it, I was just like, oh, I'm just going to shut my mouth right now. This is amazing. I'm loving this. So that just shows, don't say anything before you watch it. <laughs> but one of the big things where you could say the second main character is the leader of Team Juniper, Jean, where, of course, the main character would be Ruby, the leader of Team Ruby, but Jean is the one that I'm focusing on right now, because I read a lot of things and watched a lot of videos about this said subject, and like I said, I want to give my two cents. What is Jean's semblance? Well, a quick uh, summary of what that is, uh... Semblance is kind of like your unique ability. It stems from your aura, which everyone has. So, it's kind of like, I don't want to say willpower because I'm thinking of One Piece and hockey at the moment. But it's kind of like your essence, or your soul, or your spirit taking a form, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like that. But... Pretty much, Aura is the genuine version that everyone has, and then your semblance is like your own personal version, where Ruby has her speed, uh, uh, oh, what was her name? Yang? I couldn't remember her name for a second. Yang has her, like, She-Hulk ability, where the that, the matter she gets, the more sh powerful she gets. Uh, Pyrrha had her magnetism. You know, things like that. Well, Jean, being the other main character, he doesn't really have one yet. And people are speculating what that could be. So, first off, the debunks. A lot of people are saying that his semblance is going to be like a healing thing or like a force field thing. And that's pretty much been debunked in the actual story because where this is coming from was when Pyrrha first unlocked Jean's aura, the minor scratch on his face healed instantly. And she said that she had a, that he had a lot of aura. And so people are thinking that it would be a healing factor. While at the same time, when he was about to get punched by, oh, what was his name? The generic bully of the school, whose name I can't remember, back in season one. That guy, he uh, did like this force field thing where his entire body glowed. 
and it kind of deflected the, the punch. So a lot of people were saying that it would be like a force field thing. But both of these have been debunked, seeing as how we've seen other characters, when they had minor injuries, that their aura healed them. And then we also saw where uh, the other guy in Team Juniper, the guy that Laura's always crushing over, he used a force field when Pyrrha was explaining Aura to Jean, where he said, it's like a force field, and he's got, like, his hands holding up the fangs of the snake, and you saw, like, this little force field thing around his hands. So, both of those can just be contributed to someone's aura, not their semblance. I'm certain that someone will have an aura that's that a semblance that's, like, healing, and a semblance that's a shield. But I highly doubt that that would be Jean's. Now, what I originally thought was that he was going to have some sort of, like, kingly leadership type ability when he finally obtained his semblance. Seeing as how he is the character that started off as a weak nobody who was very timid, very shy, very weak. Because, as we know, he faked his own transcripts to get into Beacon, so he didn't really have the qualifications in order to get in. He just wanted in to be like his father and his grandfather, a hero. And he figured, going to this prestigious school and learning how to become a warrior, that that would be his way of doing it. And he also uses very antiquitous weaponry. Like, we see people with... Weapons that transform, that are a gun as long as a blade. Uh, Wise has her dust rapier. I mean, we see these people with these very unique, very intricate weaponry. And Jean has a shield that shrinks. But they use this comedic effect where they were like, wouldn't it still be the same uh, weight even though shrunk? And he was just like... Yeah, but it gets smaller when I need to tuck it away. And a sword, which always stuck out to me, because here you have these people with their custom-made weaponry, and he has a shield and sword, which I think is very admirable, because a shield and sword are amazing. You can do a lot with those. You don't need a high-powered, custom-made weapon. You just need a shield and a sword. There you go. So... He started off with very little, he had no experience fighting, he couldn't do anything himself, all the basic things that everyone else could do, he was nowhere near able to do. So when he showed leadership before Team Juniper was formed, that said right there that he may be nothing now, but he's going to be something later. And then... Season 2 came along, you didn't see that much of him, but you saw how he was becoming more independent, gaining some skill, gaining some more leadership. And then Season 3, when all this stuff happened to him, like what happened with Pyrrha and everything that just happened in that crazy season... And at the very end, where he's pretty much on a vendetta of some sort, you see how his character is developing, and you wonder, what is his semblance going to be? A lot of people were saying he was going to have, like like I said, a very leadership and kingly type thing, like a rally call or a bear to arms type thing, where his semblance doesn't affect him personally, but it affects the people around him. Where making them stronger, giving them more stamina, making them, you know, come to his aid. Which, I could see that happening. Like I said, I originally thought that. And part of me actually still thinks that. But, I want to go a bit further. Like I said, he had basically nothing, and he's still getting to the point where he's at now. So, he could have the whole rallying... Uh, enhancing other people type ability, but what if he had something else? 
And I'm not claiming anything because there's no definitive proof. I have no idea what he's going to get. He could have something that's just completely out there. Like, you never would have thought he would have had it. But originally, I had thought that he would gain, like, I don't want to say strength because that's kind of Yang's thing. But I was thinking originally that he would have a semblance that upped his own attributes for a short time. Like, it gave him better stamina, better speed, he could jump better, his sword would be stronger, his sh uh, shield could deflect more things. Kind of like what we saw when he fought the bear. I can't remember what the actual name of it is. The grim bear creature, where he activated his aura, and it seemed as though all his attributes just jumped incredibly high. I mean, he still needed Pyrrha's help at the end, but he held his own and defeated a creature that the other people there had trouble with. So, that's what I was originally thinking with that, where it may not be a group thing that he could have, but more of like a own personal stat up ability. But then I got to thinking about it, I was just like, that's kind of too generic, because, I mean, it could be the case... But like I said, there's some people out there that have some really interesting abilities. Like I said, with Pyrrha's magnetism and uh, Laura's, I want to say static ability, where she kind of generates electricity. And even that one girl, uh, oh, what was her name? The girl with the illusion ability that fucked up Yang in Season 3. I can't remember her name. It's been so long since I've heard it. But that woman in Season 3, the one that could, like, give people hallucinations, you know, there are people with semblance like that. So, like I said, I've narrowed it down with the information we have now to a rallying call, which powers up people around him, a stat up where all of his attributes just rise, you know... I'm trying to think of a good example, but I'm not exactly coming up with anything good at the moment. But pretty much just all of his uh, attributes and skills just getting a power boost for a short time. Because like we saw when he fought the Grim Bear, he went back to being injured once his aura dissipated. Now, once again, that could have just been his aura. But semblance is an extension of aura. So... That may have something to do with it. Or he may gain something like... Oh, I just had it in my head, but... I'm trying to explain it good. Where... Seeing as how he doesn't have some sort of... Like, extravagant weapon. He just has a shield and a sword. Maybe it could be something where... Just a simple shield and sword. Or any weapon he holds... Its power magnifies, where the sword could become, like, a very powerful version of a sword. Like, he just picks up a random sword, and then it becomes, like, this powerful, like, named sword that can shoot off, like, energy swipes, kind of like Mihawk. Or maybe his shield can absorb damage and then redeflect it back towards an enemy. You know, things like that. So, yeah, those are the three I'm going with at the moment because they would make the most sense for Jean at this current time. In Season 4, we may get more. But, well, we are going to get more. But those are my three guesses for what Jean's semblance could be at this current time. So, for you fans of Ruby out there who like to speculate, I want to know what you all think. What would Jean's semblance be? Because you heard my three opinions, but there are clearly no definitive answers at the moment, so it could literally be anything. So I would like to hear what other people thought. And before I start rambling even more than I currently do, this is the Mad King Paradox S signing off, and I will see you next time I think of something to talk about.